Hi everyone, so in this part of React Native tutorial series, we will learn how to apply styles with the button. In the end of this part, we will get this kind of output after writing the code. Here you can see that we have different kind of buttons and we will apply uh, margin, padding, uh, shadow, border radius, lots of things uh, with, the, with the buttons, right? But one thing that you need to remember, in React Native, we have a default button component, but that button component don't support much uh, style properties or you can say that much style props so if you want to just create a full-fledged styles with a button then you have two options first one you can use uh, touchable highlight or second one you can use touchable opacity and the both are pretty similar you can use uh, any of them in this video we will learn style with the touchable highlights all right so now let's start with the code so guys this is our uh, uh, code editor and this is our emulator for code so in app.js we are writing code and i am hiding this explorer so that we have more area to write the code right so firstly uh, we have to import their uh, touchable highlights from there so not touchable which is touchable right and after that you can just simply remove this text from there and simply put there touchable highlight and you can close it so if you will directly save this code you will find there is an error right let i'll just let you know why but first let's check reason being so inside the touchable highlight we have to provide any element it could be a view or it could be a text so let me add their text first right and we can put there simply text like button and now you will find that this is a simple button uh, there is a no style at all but as if you want to compare a button component and this touchable highlight then you will find that there is a lot of style with default button so let me just put here button ah uh, not we cannot use button like this so we simply need to put the title props in a button like this right so by default button have some extra pro properties that's why the text is in the center and uh, there is a background color also but let's say you want to apply some uh, uh, you can say that uh, margin height width or uh, border radius and uh, border shadow you can you can cannot do with this uh, button component right that time you have to use button highlights or touchable opacity so touchable highlights or touchable opacity and uh, as i told you this is a simple button but let's see how we can apply style to it and let's create it uh, as a proper button and one more thing i want to import from there which is style sheet like this and let's let me take a constant there for styles and uh, you can simply use style sheet dot create and inside it firstly i'm putting their main uh, you can see that object flex one so that i can apply it over the view even this is not important but uh, if you just want to apply a flex then that will be good for height and width for screen because that provide a uh, flexible layout over screen right so i am just putting there styles dot uh, main like this and uh, after that let's create a button also button object and we can apply this button button object on the text keep in mind you don't need to apply this style directly on the touchable highlight you have to apply the text inside the touchable highlight right and let me put there style styles dot button like this right and now i am just uh, giving some properties for style let's say background color and background color you can apply anything but for a moment i am applying here triple b so this is will be little bit gray you can directly apply the uh, gray color also that will be again fine font size i can apply there let's say 24 uh, after that uh, margin you can apply let's say 10 pixel padding you can apply let's say again 10 pixel here we go and uh, color you can put there uh, let's say white color or triple f after that uh, text align center should work over there here we go right and uh, last two properties which has uh, which is really important uh, first one is border 
radius right so let me put there again 10 and now you can see that both borders are little bit curved and last one is uh, which is shadow color so let's say you want to use any color for example i'm putting there uh, red for a moment right but whenever you will apply this color it will not visible you have to apply two more properties even only one property will work elevations and that could be let's say 5 10 whatever you want to give all right okay what's wrong with it okay i just need to give that property as the uh, numeric value right and 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 is it visible no this is still not visible because we may need there one more property which is shadow opacity let me make it one let me refresh this screen maybe uh, this is not reloaded properly so let me just refresh it yeah now you can see that we have the bit color here which is reddish color so let's say you want to just make it uh, black because red is not look like much be much better because i just want to show you uh, red color because op opacity uh, can highlight that uh, shadow color but red color actually give the directly grace like there but it will not look like much better so i am just again again putting it black perfect so this is our one button so now let's say you want to create the different buttons for a different purpose so let me simply add their first button second third and fourth and let me just format them also and first button for uh, let's say primary second button is success third one you can use uh, warning last one you can simply use uh, let's say error right but how we can give them different color so do we have to create a different uh, button object for all of these uh, buttons no actually because we can use these property as a common property so what we can do there you can just create a different class or different object because uh, why i'm just saying again and again class because in css we basically set that name class so primary Uh, we can say that background color for this is let's say uh, blue and after that we have the different colors let's say success no, that should be green for success class and uh, then we can say that error background color uh, red and last one is let's say warning and again background color will be uh, gold you can see that right now we have to apply these all colors with these classes so for primary or any other just create a array uh, with the style and let's provide their styles dot primary and now you can see that color is changed there same you can change style uh, button and comma styles dot success for third one there is warning right so styles dot warning we are just styles and these class name we are putting there right so don't be confused there okay and uh, last one we can see that styles dot error and here we go so with that way we can create different different buttons uh, with the common style and uh, as i told you if you are using default button component you cannot achieve much more uh, style flexibility with that uh, you can uh, use their touchable opacity and touchable highlight rather than that right 
so that's all for this part and uh, i'll request you to please support my channel with the, like this video share your feedback in comment section and subscribe my channel thank you guys thank you so much